Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how I built this large ramp up to the jungle plateau. I learnt a lot by making this, so this video will help you to build any large ramp. This plateau doesn't have any natural way up, so I flew around looking for a raised area that I could build a ramp off in different levels. This area was the best I found, so I roughly worked out how the ramp would look in my mind before I started. Only this side was really the best way up, so I knew the top of the ramp would have to come out and down from here. I found this straight bit of terrain, and I knew it was at a 90 degree angle to where I wanted a ramp to go down from. So the first important thing to do was align the foundation up with the straight edge of a terrain. You need to make sure you get this right, because if you don't, the ramp will be at the wrong angle. Fly over and check its positioning with your bird. That looks spot on. Now from here we're going to build down to the next level. Place one ceiling tile off to the side. Then from there we're going to build down with pillars. We're doing this to help match up a level below to the level above. We want it all aligned up and at the same angle with each other. I'm only using stone pillars now because they're easier to make than wood ones. Build down to the ground as this is going to be a final support pillar. Convert it to stone or metal when you reach the right height. Or like me, you can build a bottom half in stone. Then with ceiling tiles, work out the level of your floor. Next put in supporting pillars underneath the ceiling tiles. This will let you extend the floor more when you reach a distance limit. Sometimes the pillars want to snap in the middle of the tiles. So while positioning looks likely to the left or right, that should give you another snap point underneath the ceiling tile. Now the ceiling tile is supported by a pillar down to the ground, you can add two more ceiling tiles onto the end. And on the last one, you need to connect it to the ground again with a pillar. I need to build this level out to the side, so the ramp what's going to be above can come down to this platform. Build the ceiling towers out to the side, then pillars down to the ground to support it. Now the pillars go down to the ground, you can extend the ceiling sideways again. I'm just checking how far I have to go.
Okay, that's enough pillar support sideways to give me a wide enough platform. So I'm going to start putting the ceiling tiles in to see how many I can place. Visualising how the top ramp will come down. I built out a bit further and now I need to take the pillars down to the ground again. I'm going to put a storage box there because all my items weigh a lot and it'll save me carrying them around. I'm going to keep extending these ceilings back, then the pillars down to the ground to build a complete platform. Okay, this platform's mostly done, so I'm going to visualise how the dinos go down to the ground. There'd be a ramp down to here, then I'd walk across to this side, this platform would be sticking out more, then we'd go down another ramp, to another platform, then down to the final ramp to the ground. I'm going to put a test ramp in to give me an idea of how it'll look, plus how much platform my dinos have got to stand on in front of it. The ramp can only go up so far until there's no pillars or foundations under it. That is roughly what the ramp is going to look like. Then you'd have a platform coming out from here. But I still need to extend this level back further, so it's got pillar foundations underneath to build a ramp higher. Right, now I need to test how far the platform above will come out, and how close it is to the cliff wall. And I'm going to do that by using thatch walls. So it looks like the platform above can go back another ceiling tile before the ramp needs to go down. I'll extend the platform back a bit. And put in a new position of where the platform above will end. You'll be building off these wall tiles, so this platform will be connected to the one above and everything could be nicely lined up at the same angle. Next I built ceiling tiles off from this wall column. Then joined it to the floor with a pillar. This will be the start of the platform above, and the stone ceiling will be the edge of that platform. Now I can build everything off from here and it will all be aligned, and at the right height. I'll just use that as a temporary pillar for now. And now I need to build the ceilings across to how wide this platform will be. And of course build the pillars down to the ground to support it. Huh. 
Make sure it's aligned up to the one below. Then build pillars down from it. Now with those end pillars in, I can delete the untidy ones. And extend this platform. I didn't need this thatch scaffolding anymore, so I deleted it. Then started to place ramps down. But when I got to a certain point, I found I couldn't build anymore. I thought it odd, as I know I had pillars below this area, and they should be working like foundations. So for a test, I went below and placed pillars in all the empty spaces, hoping that it allowed me to build a ramp above. But when I tried to extend a ramp, it still wouldn't work. What I found you need to do is to connect somehow the platform above to the one below. Here I used one pillar column, and now I can build more ramps where I couldn't before. So it's really important to remember to connect all your levels together somehow. With the top ramp done, I extended the middle platform, overhung it from the ground below, then built pillars down to the floor. Just delete this. The dinos would walk up and down here, then across to the side, then down to the next level, just like I imagined it. And that's what we're going to build next. On this lower level, I built some test pillars, then found out I could place foundations. So that's what I'm going to build this platform with. It's always best to use foundations if you can, because they're stronger and neater than pillars and ceilings. Next I made a start on building the front of a platform. It's going to have to come further forward than this, and overhang the ground below so we can connect to the bottom level. I filled in the rest of the foundations to see how big it would be, then built a pillar down connecting the middle platform to the bottom one. I tested it in wood first and then built this ramp, then converted the pillars to stone. Now I know it works, I can extend the front to match the other one. Then build the remaining ramps down. I just turn the rest of the foundations to stone, then I can carry on building a ramp. There we go, that's the second one finished. All we have to do now is work on the bottom one. I extended the front of the bottom platform so it would overhang the ground below. Then I built more supporting pillars down to the ground. There was a gap here in the cliff rocks, and I was hoping I'd only have to build one pillar through there. I next connected that pillar to a foundation using ceiling tiles. Then I extended those foundations out until I could build a ramp. Next I tried a test. I built sideways, 
As I thought, if a top platform has to be connected to the bottom one, does it see itself as one structure? Where the ramp only needs to be connected to the foundations at the top, and have a row of foundations at the bottom, so the ramp can meet the ground. So basically, with that row of foundations at the bottom, do you even need any more foundations under the rest of the ramps? And the answer is, no, you don't. I thought you'd at least have to put foundations under every other ramp section, but you don't have to, so that's good to know. If a bottom row of foundations is on uneven ground, you're able to extend it sideways with pillars and ceilings. There we go, that's my ramp finished. Of course you can build it out of metal to make it stronger, but if you wanted to stop people getting up here with land dinos, create it out of weaker material, then you can blow it up if you're in a war. And that's how you build big ramps. This is the one I built from a Let's Play series that you can find on the link at the end, plus other helpful videos. Thanks for watching guys, and if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon for when I upload next. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.